Hi yoga friends, my name is Jade Butler and I'm here in the eucalyptus forest of San Alejo Hills. I went on a hike this morning and I found the perfect space to roll out my mat and practice a little gentle yoga and stretching and I was hoping that you would join me. Create a space in your home that allows you to move comfortably and freely and we'll do some nice stretching. If you happen to have a yoga block or a strap, grab your props. If you don't, find something that you can use as a strap to extend your reach, maybe a necktie, the, robe, the belt to your bathrobe, or a dish towel. If you don't have a block, maybe a firm pillow or a folded up towel or blanket. Take your time to set up your space and when you're ready, let's begin our practice. Find a comfortable seated position if your hips and knees allow, cross your legs. Close your eyes, relax your shoulders, sit back into your pose where your shoulders stack directly up over your hips. Allow your body to soften and relax, but at the same time, lengthen your spine. Think of lifting from the center of your chest and the crown of your head. Free yourself of tension, and begin to notice how your body is feeling in this moment. Notice how the breath moves the body. Notice the support from the ground, from the earth beneath you. Now at your own pace, breathing in and out through your nose, let's begin to cultivate more of an ujjayi pranayama. Making each inhale a little bit fuller and deeper than the last, and allowing the exhales to be slow, smooth, and complete. When you're ready, inhale through your nose, fill your chest, really expand your lungs. Exhale the breath all the way out and keep it going. Now bring a bit more of a constriction to the back of the throat to cultivate more sound when you breathe, that nice oceanic whisper to the breath. Now, as you know, the breath work in yoga is the primary focus. So I'm gonna constantly remind you to breathe as I guide you. It is a practice, just do the best that you can. Listen to your body as we stretch and move here. Please don't do anything that hurts. Honor your body, do what feels good. Make modifications if necessary. We're gonna start with neck and shoulder stretching on our right side. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, soften your shoulders. Inhale, sweep your right arm out and up. At the top, flip your palms, spread your fingers wide. Exhale, reach out and down. Extend back at a slight diagonal. Now as the right arm lowers, look over the left shoulder. Bring your chin close to your left collarbone. Try it again, neck neutral. Inhale, sweep the right arm up. At the top, flip your palms, spread your fingers. Exhale, lower. Bring your chin towards your left collarbone. Final time here, breathe in, right arm extends out and up. At the top, flip your palms, spread your fingers and reach back and down. Right arm lowers, look over the left shoulder. Now this time we'll hold, so place your right hand to the floor behind you and reach out as far as you can. With your head still tilted heavy to the left, begin to explore gentle movement. Just simply nod your head forward and back. Now notice that there's a tight spot or a space where you're feeling the best stretch. Maybe stay there for an extra breath. As you move here, be careful not to push or force. Let's stay on this side for one more breath. Now round your chin to the center at your chest. Bring your right hand in. Float your chin up and we'll do the same thing on the other side. Inhale, sweep your left arm out and up. At the top, flip your palms, spread your fingers, and reach back and down at a slight diagonal. As the left arm lowers, look over the right shoulder. Keep your chin close to your right collarbone. Try it again. Inhale, circle the arm up. At the top, flip your palms, spread your fingers, and really extend back and down behind diagonally. As you lower your arm, look over the opposite right shoulder. One more time. Inhale, circle up. At the top, flip your palm, extend and reach. As the left arm lowers, gaze is over the right shoulder. This time we'll stay. When your hand finds the floor, wiggle and walk your fingertips even further away. Really soften both shoulders. 
and then gently start to nod your head. Explore a little movement, just as if you were saying yes, lift and lower your chin. And again, being really careful not to push. If you're feeling a space that's tight, stay for an extra breath. Allow your chin to return to center. Bring your left hand in. Float your chin up so that your head and neck is neutral. Inhale, carry the arms slowly out and up. Lift through your chest, lift your chin. Exhale, extend, open and reach. Right hand to the floor. Breathe in, raise your left arm. Exhale, side stretch. Now we're gonna hang out here for just a moment, so keep breathing as you reach and lean. Deep in the bend in the right elbow and press downward from your left hip. Think of really flaring apart your ribs, stretching from your hip all the way up through to your fingertips. Strong and slow, push up through center, left hand down, breathe in, raise your right arm. On the exhale, lean your body up and over. Now we'll spend time here, so maybe gradually go a little bit further. Deep in the bend in the left elbow and press down from your right hip. Now spin your top right side ribs up and back and maybe reach one inch further. Really strong and slow, push up. From here, breathe in, circle your arms up. At the top, flip your palms. Exhale, big cactus arms. Bend at the elbows, squeeze your shoulder blades together, lift your chest and your chin. Think of this like cow pose that we do on all fours. Take another breath in, arching your back, lifting your heart. Exhale, round through the upper back, tuck your chin and close your arms to touch. Now follow the rhythm of your breathing. Inhale, arch your back, lift your chest, squeeze your back body muscles. Exhale, slow, round through the upper back, tuck your chin, close your arms. One more round here, move your spine. Inhale, arch your back, lift your chest and chin. Exhale, slow, round the upper back, close your arms to touch. This time, breathe in, circle your arms up. Exhale, open twist to your right. So your right hand to the ground behind you, left hand crosses over to your knee or thigh. Breathe in for length, exhale, easy twist. Look over your right shoulder. Now stay in your twist, keep moving your breath. Be really careful not to force, go deeper if it feels safe. Slowly unwind, same thing, other side. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Exhale, open twist to the left. Left hand behind you, right hand touches knee or thigh. Inhale for length, exhale to twist. You're looking over your left shoulder. Now pull your low belly in, lift from the top of your head. Twist a little bit deeper if it feels good. And take your time to slowly unwind. Connect the soles of your feet together to touch with your knees open wide, coming into butterfly. Clasp your hands, lace your fingers right around your feet, get a nice grip on your toes. Pull your chest up, rise your shoulders down, and lift tall from the top of your head. Now notice how you feel here. If this is enough, stay. If it feels like you can safely deepen the stretch, breathe in for length. On the exhale, lean forward. Tilt forward where your chest and your shoulders come ahead of your face. Keep the back of the neck long. Keep breathing. I think every time you inhale, lengthen. Pull your chest up and out away from your belly. On the exhale, tilt further forward. Now at any time here, if you want a little bit more, loosen the grip in your hands. Open your elbows wide to your legs and use your arms to softly press down. Avoid forcing, but press down knees, thighs evenly towards the floor. Let's take another slow breath here. We'll release slowly, come all the way up, sit tall, help yourself to close the space between your legs. We're gonna transition. If you have props, have them handy, where they're close to your mat, they're easy to reach, but they're out of your way. Bring yourself forward and down on the mat where you have plenty of space behind you to recline. With your knees bent and your feet flat, catch the backs of your thighs, pick your elbows up high and wide. 
tone the belly, curl your tailbone under and roll yourselves down one vertebra at a time. Now when you come all the way down here, gather your knees into your chest for a nice hug. Now if you have enough cushioning underneath you, rock from side to side, almost massaging your low back. And then we'll find center, keeping your low back nice and even on the floor, right knee in close to your chest, left foot to your mat. Now reach over for your yoga strap or whatever prop you have to serve to extend your reach and place it around the ball mound of your right foot. Start with a deep breath in, on the exhale slowly extend, stretch your right leg up to the ceiling. Now relax your shoulders here. As a friendly reminder, it's fine to bend your right knee, flex your foot, and extend up and out through your right heel. You can close your eyes here, relax in your upper body. Now, as we're guiding the right leg in, at the same time, press forward and down with your right hip. Think of extending your right sit bone towards the bottom edge of your mat. We want to create space in the right side of the waist and ribs. Take a long, smooth, audible breath. Now transfer both ends of your strap into your right hand. Outstretch your left arm long from your shoulder. Pull your belly in nice and tight to support and protect your low back. Prepare with an in-breath. On the exhale, open your right leg to the right side. Now as we open the right leg out to the right, roll to the outer edge of your left foot. So allow your left kneecap to point to the left. That way your pelvis stays level and even. So we have a lot of tension on the strap. We're going to be here for just a few breaths. Pull your front ribs in and down. Really tone the belly, again, supporting the low back. Let's take two full breaths here. Now using core strength and inhale, bring your right leg back to the top. As you raise the right leg, left one comes in as well. Catch the strap at the top there with both of your hands. For just one more slow breath, bring your right leg in neutral and straight. Releasing slow, hold your right knee into your chest, take your strap away, keep it handy for the other side, and just take a moment to observe. Feel the sensations in your body and notice the difference between your two sides. And let's take that same stretch to the left. So left knee comes into your chest, grab your prop and place it around the broadest part of your left foot. At the bottom, fill your chest, deep breath in, on the exhale, slowly extend. Align so that your upper body feels a le level and even on your mat. Feel free to bend your left knee and actively flex your left foot. That way we feel the stretch in the calf as well as the hamstring. Relax your shoulders, relax your face. On the left side, as you're hugging your leg in, lengthen out the left side of the waist and ribs by pressing down with your left hip. Think of energetically extending your left sit bone towards the bottom edge of your mat. Now transfer both ends of the strap into your left hand. Outstretch your right arm long from your shoulder. Draw your belly in. Start with an inhale. On the exhale, slowly open up. Float your left leg to the left. Roll to the outer edge of your right foot so that your right kneecap points to the right. Draw your navel towards your spine, really pressing the small of your back into the mat. We're going to stay here for just a few breaths. I 
Again, using your core strength, your strap, and your next inhale, lift your left leg back to the top. Catch the strap at the top with both hands, and we'll take another moment to direct the left leg in neutral and straight. Whenever you feel even and complete on this side, release left knee into your chest, take the strap away, and place your left foot down by your right. Take a moment again and feel the sensations in your body. We're going to do another stretch for hips, one of my favorites. Grab your prop. If you have a yoga block or a folded towel or a firm pillow, we're going to come to a supported bridge position. So your knees are bent, your feet are flat. Pick your hips up off of the floor so that you can tuck your prop behind your pelvis, supporting your low back. As a reminder, we don't want the block high into the small of the back. Move it down nice and low where it's supporting the back of the pelvis. So right at the top of your tailbone, right across your sacrum. When you get here, hold the back of your head level and even. Right knee is going to lift. Clasp your hands, lace your fingers up around your right knee, right shin bone. And give your right leg a hug. Now as you're hugging your right leg into your chest, lengthen your left one all the way down long where the heel of the left foot is supported on the floor. Okay, we're looking for stretching in the front of the left hip, in the hip flexor and in the psoas. If you're feeling it, stay right here. As an option here to take this a bit further, guide your right leg more open to the right as you continue to hug it. Think of lifting your right knee towards your right shoulder. into your midline we're slowly going to switch our sides right foot comes down bring your left knee all the way up into your chest grab hold of your shin bone now as you're hugging in your left leg stretch your right one long as you keep the heel of the right foot heavy and supported on the floor now on the left side here as you're hugging in look for sensation in the front of your right hip if it feels safe to deepen your stretch, open your left knee and thigh more to the left as you hug in. Think of lifting your leg kind of up and out diagonally. Bring your knee towards your outer shoulder. This is one of my favorite stretches. Let's take a final slow breath here. Bringing your left leg back into your midline. Bring your hands to the floor. Be careful when you're here. Please do not turn your head or neck. Keep your neck safe, straight, and neutral. Reach your left leg up to the ceiling, and then very slowly extend your right. Right leg up to meet the left. So we're holding the leg straight up above the hips. We're still elevated, supported up on our prop. Notice here how your head is below your heart, and the majority of your body is lifted above your heart space. This is a nice, easy way to get ourselves upside down. Now separate your feet just so you have a little room and move your feet in whatever way feels good. Roll your ankles, wiggle your toes, point and flex. If you have the means to set up your yoga practice outside, set up your mat outside. It's so beautiful to be in the sunshine, watching the clouds. And be in the breeze. Let's take another breath here. Be sure to roll the ankles in both directions. And then really slow. One leg, one foot at a time. Walk your feet in close towards your prop. Lift up just high enough to glide it out from underneath and roll yourself down. When you come down, counter stretch. Hug your knees into your chest. Okay, we're going to slowly transition. So roll over onto your side. We're going to come all the way up, over, and around. I'd like you to join me on your mat on your tummy. Come to your mat on your tummy. Extend your legs long back behind you. And pop up onto the elbows and the forearms. We're going to do some gentle prone back bending. 
Be mindful that your elbows are aligned right underneath your shoulders and that your forearms are parallel to each other. Wiggle so that your pelvis feels nice and even on your mat. Pull your shoulders back and down. Now essentially this is Sphinx Pose. We're just going to do some subtle adjustments to refine our pose. From the tops of the feet, from your toenails all the way up to your pelvis, press down. Pull your belly in, reach your chest forward, glide your shoulder blades down your back and really extend tall from the crown of your head. So notice how it feels gentle, really easy and supported. But notice how your spine is an extension. We're in that soft, supported back. Take a long, full breath right here. Now as if you were going to try and drag yourself forward, traction your elbows backward towards your hips. Not to literally move, but energetically, like you were trying to pull your chest further forward. Notice the difference. Take a slow breath here. Now change the direction of that energy and press the ground forward in a way, almost like you were trying to slide yourself backwards. Notice how you can lift a little bit taller. Keep your low belly drawn in and up away from the mat and the shoulders pulling back and down. Take one more full breath right here. Now support yourself and release slow. Release one arm, one elbow at a time. Keeping the arms in that same shape, that 90 degree bend. Elbows extend straight out from your shoulders. Your hands are going to find the floor or the ground wider than the edges of your mat. Bring your forehead to or towards the floor so the back of the neck is neutral and straight. Again, from the tops of the feet, toenails, all the way up to the pelvis, you're anchoring down. Be really strong and slow here. Listen to your body. Inhale, lift your upper body, lift head, neck, chest, and shoulders, just using your strong back body muscles. So I have little to no weight in my hands here. We're breathing and we're lifting. Feel that strong contraction in your back body muscles. Now let your breath move your body so there's a pulsing motion in your pose. When you inhale, you lift. When you exhale, you lower. Now staying low is perfect. Optional if it feels safe, use your arms. Now push the floor away and bring your spine up into extension. Shoulders back and down, elbows soft. As a reminder here, never pain or pinching in the low back. Wherever you're at, take a long, smooth breath. And when you're ready to release, support yourself and lower all the way down. Glide your hands to your mat nice and narrow underneath your shoulders and push on up to your hands and knees. We're coming to a tabletop position. Align your hands directly underneath your shoulders and your knees directly underneath your hips. Spread your fingers open nice and wide, strong arms like you're pushing the ground away, but avoid locking the elbows. Inhale as you drop your belly, arch your back, lift upwards from your tailbone, chest, and chin. We call this cow pose. Again, notice how it's a back bench, contracting your back to stretch your front. We'll take another breath in. On the exhale, hollow and round, cat stretch. Curl your tailbone, tuck your chin, push the earth away. Think of hollowing your belly and scooping your abs in and up. Now take it to a flow where you're moving with your breath. Inhale, drop your belly, arch your back. Exhale, round your spine. Follow the rhythm of your breath, find a nice pace. And make this motion very smooth and fluid and continuous. Almost like there's no beginning and there's no end. Let's do one more round together. Finish on the exhale, pressing into your rounded spine cat stretch, and then return with a flat back and a very neutral neck. When we're here, keep your head held up and that extension of your spine so the back of the neck is long. We're going to practice a balancing pose. Float your right leg back behind you, perfectly parallel to the ground. Squeeze your glute, flex your foot, and push through your heel, almost like a strong kick. Now pull your belly in. You're going to find stability using core strength. Back of the neck again stays long. Look out and down. Now transfer weight to the right hand so that you can extend your left arm. Opposite limbs. We have our right leg and left arm. Palm is in, thumb is up. Now make your pose about lengthening as opposed to lifting. Reach your fingers forward and your heel back. Now if you're a little bit wobbly, pull your belly in tighter. 
and take a bigger breath. Now extend your limbs open to just a slight diagonal. Reach your right leg more to the right and your left arm to the left, just over the corners of your mat. We're gonna keep our leg up, but left hand to the mat. Left hand right underneath your shoulder. Reach your right leg straight out from your hip with your foot on the floor. Transfer weight to your left hand. Take a breath in as we lengthen. Exhale, slow twist, raise your right arm. So really turn your chest open, stack your shoulders, and reach through your right fingertips. Now if it feels good, reach a little bit further. You be very gentle with your right shoulder, even if you're just right-handed. Tuck your right arm into the small of your back and glide your right hand in the direction of your left hip. Now feel how you can use the bind to deepen your twist, but also to stretch your right shoulder. Let's hold here for one more breath. And then with control, unwind both hands to the ground. Keep your leg right where it's at. Drop down to your elbows and to your forearms. Relax your neck here, let your head fall. And then explore a little movement in your pose. Shift forward and back. Now, even if it's just a few inches in each direction, notice how the stretch intensifies when you lean back. And from here, we're going to push back up onto all fours, readjust the wrist directly underneath the shoulders, and bring the right knee in and down to meet the left. Square up on your mat. We're doing the whole thing on the other side. As you're ready, left leg behind. Squeeze your glute, flex your foot. Wrap your left hip towards the mat so the back of the pelvis is level. Now lift higher from your left inner thigh. We want to feel like our toes are pointing straight down. Tummy's tight, neck is long. Find balance and stability, and then extend your right arm. Your palm is in, your thumb is pointing up. Keep your arm high so that your bicep is right next to your ear. Pull your belly in. If you're a little bit wobbly, think of closing together the front of your rib cage. Now take this open to just a slight diagonal. You don't have to go far. Right arm to the right, left leg to the left. Stretch out over the corners of your mat. Take a breath. Bring your right hand down. Left leg is going to extend straight out from your hip, unless you have a tree in the way. Angle your toes forward facing. Transfer your weight to the right hand. Take a breath in for length. Exhale, slow twist. Spin your chest open, stack your shoulders. Now reach forward with the top of your head and pull back with your left shoulder. Really gentle if you're left-handed or you have an injury with your left shoulder. Wrap your left arm into the small of your back. Now glide your left hand over towards your right hip and use that bind to deepen the twist. Final breath here. And take your time to unwind slowly. Keep your legs right where they're at, both hands to your mat. Come down to your elbows, to your forearms. You can relax your neck at the bottom and then just explore a little movement, a subtle little shift forward and back. Notice on this side, maybe the difference. And let's take a final breath here. To release, press back up onto your hands. Bring your left knee in to meet the right. Reposition so that your wrists are beneath your shoulders and your knees are beneath your hips. Take your hips and lean them off to the right side. Bump your right hip to the right, and then almost like you were gonna trace your hip along the edge of the mat, start to again shift forward and back. We're looking for warm stretching in the outer right hip. And then we'll transfer back through center and take that on over to your left. Lean your left hip off the left edge of the mat and explore movement, a little rock forward and back. And then bring yourselves up through center. Glide your feet together where the inside edges of the feet connect. Step your knees slightly wider. We're pushing back to extended child's pose. Ease your hips to your heels. Wiggle your rib cage nice and low between your thighs all the way down where your forehead is supported on your mat.
really relaxing into the pose. Notice if you can sink a little bit deeper. Allow your chest, your heart center, your armpits to lean towards the mat. And breathe so full and deep that you feel your back and your side ribs really expanding and moving with breath. When you're ready, come back up and readjust where your knees are more narrow underneath your hips. Spread your fingers wide, tuck your toes under. Now, before we lift up into a downward dog with your toes curled under, work to spread your toes wider on your mat. Lean your hips back towards your heels and look for stretching in your feet. Stretch your toes in your feet. Wiggle your feet from side to side. For more sensation, push the ground away. Take a fuller cut. Shift back forward, stacking your shoulders right up over your wrists. Prepare with a deep breath in. On the exhale, lift your knees, lift your hips, and push your mat away. Extend your body into a 90 degree bend. Loosen your neck here and allow your shoulders, excuse me, your head to fall right between your arms. Shoulders pull up and back away from your ears. Tummy is tight. Now do encourage the heels low, but it's okay if they don't touch the ground. And feel free to bend your knees. It's definitely not cheating to bend your knees. And invite any little wiggles that feel good. Feel free to stretch and wiggle and move your body here spontaneously. Maybe try a Prancing, a pedaling motion where you generously bend one knee and you sink down the opposite heel and then you switch out your side. And let's take a final breath here. And then with control, make your way back down to all fours. And then one more child's pose, but this time keep your knees close together. Bring your hands by your feet. Drape yourself up over across your thighs, forehead on your mat. When you're ready to transition, we're basically going to take this pose and turn it upside down. Come again onto your backside. Recline back safely and hug your knees to your chest. We're gonna finish our practice with a supine twist. Keeping your right knee in tight towards your chest, lengthen your left leg all the way down long. A lot of instruction here, follow along with me close. Left hand is gonna keep a hold of the right leg, right arm extends long from your shoulder. Prepare with an in-breath as you exhale, twist and roll over onto your left hip, bringing your right knee, right thigh up and over across your body. Now work to really stack your hips, tucking your left hip underneath you, keeping your right shoulder blade down on your mat. Back of your neck is neutral. Now where your left hand touches your right leg, be really careful not to pull or push. Relax here, let gravity take over. Let's do a few full breaths right here. unwind slowly make your way back to center bend your knees and bring your feet to the floor to readjust neutralize the spine knees to chest same twist on the left side so the left leg stays in close stretch your right one long keep a hold of your left leg with just your right hand left arm reaches open long from your shoulder now preparing with a breath in as you exhale twist and roll over onto your right hand Left knee, left thigh comes up and over across the body. Now think of stacking your hips, really tucking your right one underneath you, but keeping your chest and your shoulders really square and open. Be mindful where your left hand touches, excuse me, where your right hand touches your left leg, that you're not pulling or forcing the 
Now notice where you can relax a little bit more and let the back of your left side ribs move closer towards the floor. And when you're ready to unwind, very slowly come back to center. Readjust so that your back feels even on your mat. One more final time, give yourselves a nice big hug. And then we're gonna lengthen our limbs and set up for Shavasana. Stretch your body long. If you need support for the low back, you can elevate your legs. Sprawl out here, take up some space, flip your palms open, close your eyes, and really relax your body. Allow yourself to let go. Think of this time as time for your body to absorb the benefits of your yoga practice. And use this time to practice mindfulness, being present in the moment. Acknowledge your thoughts as they come and go. Notice the beat of your heart throughout your body. And notice all the spaces where your breathing is moving your body. And if you can here, take several minutes to rest. And when you're ready to awaken, do so slowly. Again, maybe one more time, bring your knees in. Roll over onto one side and pause in seedling. Seedling is like the fetal position. Use your arms to cradle and support your head. Curl yourself into a tiny little ball. Use your top arm to push the floor away and come back up to any comfortable seated position. Make adjustments so that you can feel your sit bones even on your mat. Close your eyes and place your hands tight together <clears throat> at your heart center. Notice how your body is feeling in this moment. I hope that you feel really good. I hope that you've enjoyed the practice. I thank you sincerely for inviting me into your home and sharing yoga with me. I hope that you're able to get outside today and enjoy the sunshine, drink plenty of water, eat mindfully, think positively. I always like to close with the word namaste. Namaste.